So this is the ham radio clock project that I've been working on. We're going to power it up. It's running off a USB cord right now, but all it's doing is giving it electricity. It doesn't need the computer to do what it does. It's, um, I just don't have a battery to hook up to it right now. But uh, if you want to look at the top view, uh, this is the main computer board that drives the clock. This is a breadboard. It just has switches and lights and that's it. And over here, this little guy is the part that remembers what time it is even when there's no power going to the clock. It's not, it's just a button battery. It can't run the whole thing by itself, but it can remember what time it is. So here's the main display, right? And there's three buttons, right? There's enter, up and down. That's it, simple. So it says when you turn it on, you power it up. Do you want to set the time? I'm going to say no. And here it is, May 6th. It knows what time it is. You requested military time. So that's what I did. If I want to turn on the timer, I can turn on the timer. Now, I have this programmed right now so that it counts down uh, 10 minutes. Um, so if I start, right, it'll start the timer down, right, blah, blah, blah. I can reset it anytime I want. So that's, if I want to, I can reset it. And I can turn it back off if I don't want to see it. I'm going to make a quick little change to the program to make it only count down really quickly so that uh, you can see the light come on so we don't have to wait 10 minutes for that. Okay, so now counts down, bing, light comes on. I can either reset it, right, or I can just turn it off. Okay, so the other thing that it does, we need to be able to set the time without without uh, without having a computer or anything. So do I want to set the time? I'm going to say yes. I can set the year. I can set the month. I can set the day of the month. I can set the minutes. Now it says it's May 4th, whatever time, whatever day. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm going to go back and set the time properly again, but I believe that's about what you ordered. I got about, I don't know, 80 hours into this thing. I really didn't think it was going to take me anywhere near this long, but I've never worked with the real-time clock board before. It's been a long time since I worked with this display. If you don't like this display, they have other ones. They have touchscreen, TFT displays, things like that. That would probably require another 80 hours to learn how to do. But anyway, that's it, man. Hope you liked the video. I'm going to take this thing apart so I can have my apartment inspection without anybody thinking I'm building a time bomb in here. And we'll see you later.